Mizzle? Got it all. Okay. Um, a couple of questions about the milk. Um, Madam or- Aura, as well as Lana's little thing, says, what is the significance of the milk? Question so three. many questions and theories. Bad guy, good guy. They want to know about the milk, Mizzle. Oh, I'm not going to give the secret of the milk. They're going to have to figure it out. Why? A magician doesn't give out the secrets. Otherwise, it takes away the magic. So uh, not only am I okay with that, but uh, I agree with that. Because, first of all, another thing is we talk about this in the documentary or or, uh, in the DVD about Mm -hmm. whether or not there will or should be a part two. Hey, y'all. Hey. (laughs) How's everyone doing? How's... Okay, is it safe to talk? Okay. <laughs> hey, Carol. Battle. Hey. Sonia. Hey. I realize it's hard to read with red glasses. It is. Like, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I mean, I wish I, I, wish I had the you red glasses. But... For this I just want party, but whoa! This this is this this here is my this is my prop. (laughs) Wow! Hey, Serena, butterflies! Oh, what's up, Kay? What's up, Teresa? All right. So, as you guys know, I'm very excited for TJ Jackson's MMM project. Um, but before we get into the Project, he actually has new music today. Download, stream, and buy. Why would I lie? Yep. Um, so he he's swollen us, TJ. You gotta stop swollen us. <laughs> okay, can we talk about the single cover? Yeah, I was actually curious about that. Watercolor, like that's genius. I wonder if that's fan art or something that he came up with. Hmm. That's pretty clever. I like it. If I ever get a chance to talk to TJ again, that's a question. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So the question of the day, for those who may not be familiar, is what's the deal with the milk? (laughs) When we watch today's watch party, Tori thinks she... Tori, do you think you figured it out? I know, because you remember we were kind of, but at the same time, we weren't. Like, you know, like, he doesn't reveal his secret. But I feel like I might have a theory. Okay. Oh, this is such a compliment to the last song. It sounds like jazz. Very beautiful, TJ. Agree. Mm hmm. I, I was actually surprised that we got another single. I was like, oh, snap. So for those who are not familiar, MMM stands for Magic, Mystery, and Memories, and possibly Milk, just saying. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, absolutely. When it comes to this album, actually, let's go through the track list real quick. You have nine tracks. And one pre-Luke. And what's interesting, with the exception of one last chance, everyone has been a single. Oh wow. And of course, the pre-Luke. Yeah. And what I love about this project, he's been releasing singles since 2020 and giving us little hints. And there were other singles. So it's so interesting. Like these are the nine that made it. Even though he did more than nine singles between now, 2020. Well, actually, it's 2019 all the way until 2024. Oh, wow. But I feel like he picked some of the strongest stuff. Even though there's other songs he could have put in, put on there, like Heaven on My, Heaven on, Heaven on my Lips. I, I don't know. I don't know how he picked the nine because they were he had other good singles, too. I remember that he said that he started this album out by writing um, 
he was going for a lo-fi sound and i remember uh, yeah he was going for like a lo-fi type r&b sound mm-hmm. so he was writing songs with that sound and then he like picked but he said i think i want to say it was damage damage was made before any of them before this album was even starting to work it just so happened to fit on it it was i, I could be wrong it's one of those songs it when damage came out tori were you listening to that in real time or that's something that you like wait you discovered no. it when mmm came out so actually i didn't listen to it when it got released i remember i was i remember i was just casually listening to tj's music and stuff and some of my favorites were like you know a night to remember i don't deserve this but as i kept like listening to him more I started like, I'm like, okay, I like this one too. I'm like, oh, I like this part. And Damage, I remember I was like playing, just playing his playlist. Damage came on the shuffle. I said, hold on. <laughs> Why did I not? It's, it's one of my favorites. Damage, right? Yes. Yeah. I, it's one of those things like, what? Cause it's so crazy. For the most part, I was keeping up with all TJ singles. I don't know how damage slipped me. I don't know, but I'm kind of glad it did. Cause when the album came out, when MMM came out, I was like, "This is so." And just like you said, um, Tori, it was on shuffle. And then one day, I was like, "What is this? What is this?" And then I was like, "Ding dong!" It's been out for a minute. Why? <laughs> but. But when I realized when it was released, it made sense. We were going through so many different things back then. Mm. So I remember like, um, when the first two songs came out, I remember he was releasing music. Um, and then I was a bit late to the game. When, like, I remember we sat down and watched his like first two. No, yeah, the first two music videos. I think it was Insomnia and I Don't Deserve This. And I, I remember like being drawn to I don't deserve this. And I was just like, oh my goodness. So I was kind of late to the game with TJ's music. But mm-hmm. regardless, when you find it, it's still good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It might be for me my favorite single. I do agree with you when you were talking to TJ about Night to Remember. Not um uh, a night to remember was my favorite until da- damage came out, and I was just like, wait, 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 wait. Like even Serena's the same thing with damage. I, you guys make me feel so much better because I was like, is it me? Or did this one just kind of go over our heads? <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of his lesser known songs, and like you know, with uh, last night, that's when it's popular ones. Uh, the Human Nature cover. Um, what's the other one? Um, Insomnia. That's one of his popular ones. But like these, like Dream Girl and Secret and and Damage and Moving On. They're not like I don't think these are his like super duper like well known ones. So don't mm. feel bad. I love Moving On though. Moving On, I love. Um, yes. Let's breeze. go back to the singles real quick. Sometimes when you see the covers, you could. It triggers stuff a little bit better. Oh, I want you now. A bop. Mm-hmm. I want you now. Ooh. Another good one, but it's not on the album. It's not an album, but that's a good one. Baby, mm-hmm. I can't stand it too. I Wait. really, I really appreciate the artwork. Whoever, I don't know the the, the album cover the, for the singles. What? It is amazing. Like. Work, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Baby, it's a Saturday night. No heaven on my lips, though. That, like, I was surprised that wasn't on here, but I understand why it's not. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. <clears throat> you know what? I don't know. Oh, uh, not sure. I don't sound good either, but I don't care. I'm so happy. <laughs> So, a reason why I brought this whole barge party up, this live here from March 30th, so we did a watch party with Omar, TJ, and some other 
TJ fans, right? Mm -hmm. So he, unfortunately, this live, which is also the opening to this video, it is private. Notice what, what it says on the bottom, the video's unlisted. Was that on purpose? The answer is yes. So moving forward, guys, you might want to catch TJ Jackson live. You don't know what he's going to make private in the future. Oh, wow. The only reason why I got that milk video clip, because I was just like, oh, I thought it would just move this milk thing. It was a thing in the chat. It just became a thing. So I was just like, so this is the inspiration. Um, once I saw MMM, the music video, I was like, it enhanced the album even more. And I'm like, the video needs definitely to keep being played over and over again. And we just need to keep streaming the MMM record. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm surprised that you didn't make it on that. I love it. Yeah. I know. Oh, so here's a controversial question. Would you take a song off the MMM and put it with something else? Oh, now you're gonna have me. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Now I wait what do you like? What, what, uh, what do you mean? Like in a different album or? No, no. So this is, these are the nine tracks. Uh -huh. Would you take one off to put another one on? You know the song that surprised me that was on there. <laughs> Wait, third. <laughs> Wait, is that really about the milk? <laughs> Y'all thirsty. I forgot my, my milk. I don't like drinking plain milk. I just, my brain not there, but I got water. <clears throat> See, why y'all making this milk a bad thing? Or is it a bad thing? Well, I kind of kind of know where the reference is from, but um, I don't know. It kind of feels naughty, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, the song that surprised me that was on there was I Want You Now, because that doesn't give lo-fi. But it, I feel like it's good to have that on there because that song is kind of like a fun little love bop. And it kind of just kind of shows you like, oh, we're just la da 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 We're in love. And then you got, you got Q, oh, what is his name? I, I'm just calling him Q. The, the rapper at the end, he's like, yo, homie, don't you see? And they just like, I'm the puppet, you're the thing. Why are you happily singing about being a puppet? <laughs> well, then you just caught up. Yeah. Um, I agree. It's a, okay. So, I want you now. It's probably one of the strongest dance tracks, right? But in terms of the flow of the story, that one could come off for heaven, heaven, heaven on your lips. Because I love how you describe. You know what? We'll go into like what this is about once we see the video. Mm -hmm. but when when Tori was describing to in her station head what this album was about, I was like, "You're right." What do you say? It was like a tragic love story, correct? Kind of like a toxic one. It looked that way, yeah. 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 But one thing I realized initially going into the album was like when I first listened to it, this is why it's good to listen to things more than once and like watch them and you'll find out different things. To me, it was like, oh no, he's getting done wrong, like da 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 da. But I listened to it again. They both had a hand in it. And then he kind of was at fault for moving too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. No. Um, that's how love really is, though. That's why people usually fall in love with the wrong people. It's usually infatuation. And for some some for us, for some of us, we find the right person in that infatuation. But for the most part, it kind of goes left. Yeah, yep. At least that's my experience with love. <laughs> it's like, oh, and then you're like, oh my God. But you know what? I feel like there is a good message out of this. Which is what? The whole story. Just because you waited for something your whole life, don't go grabbing and reaching for the first sign of it because you don't know if that's actually meant. Right. 
Write that down, y'all. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny with the milk. My brain didn't go there either. I wonder if TJ could sing country. Oh, he could probably sing anything. Um, TJ's very talented. Very, he has similarities of MJ in his voice for sure. Um, I, I, I love um, TJ, and I just love three T's voices. It's um, really, really cool. But let's see. Yeah, if, if I had to take a song away, but I couldn't because it is a pop, it would be I Want You Now and replace it with Heaven, heaven on Your Lips. But no, that song is so essential, though. It's so I know. Essential. No, listen, leave it alone. I think he picked the right nine, to be honest. Mm hmm. I think he picked the right nine. I don't know how he picked it because he had some, he had a lot of singles. Um, so everyone get, get your devices ready. We are gonna be watching. I'm gonna call it my muse. Cause I was just like, TJ took us on this journey for the four, last four years and to see like the final product Kudos, kudos, kudos. Yeah. And this kudos. is his first, like, album, album. He came out swinging. Yeah. Well, so why doesn't the acoustic one count? Because that's well, a good it, one, it, too. It does. I guess the way he said it is this is his first, like, original. Like, I, the acoustic one was, like, acoustic versions of his songs. And then there was the cover of Human Nature. But this is, like, the one where it's, like, songs that were, like, are, like, fresh and new and, like, not acoustic. But technically, Acoustic Session 1 is his, is his first album. But this is, like, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I guess. Because I'm like, there was some stuff on that acoustic album. I said, when I get married, I want some of these songs to be playing. Like, when I do a slow dance with my husband. Dream Girl I acoustic? Love... Oh, God. No we gotta talk about that. You know what? We need to revisit the acoustic album, too. Right now, we're going to mm -hmm. stick to the subject, the MMM. But the whole point of this station head, I mean, not station head, YouTube, it's just a highlight because, you know, I'm sure you guys are like me. You adulting, you get busy. Sometimes, you know, things come out and you're dealing with other stuff. And I'm like, no, TJ deserves his flowers on this. This is this is really good work. So let me just get everything set up so I could watch it with y'all. Yo, my phone looks so hey, weird. Hey, uh, Wait, do y'all hear the music in the background? There's like station head here. Hey, what happened to Rocky? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, hopefully nice. Rocky will, will be back or she might be back after the video's playing. So we I just got a, a message from her. Um, okay. da, 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 da. Where are we going? We're going YouTube. Okay. I play this album every single day now. Like, this is my, but well, let's wake up. <laughs> For me, this reminds me of when 3T first came out, Brotherhood. And I'm just like, are we having another Brotherhood moment right now? <laughs> Don't get me started. All right. Let me know when you guys are ready, even though I'm not ready. <laughs> um one second. Uh TJ Jackson. For those who don't know, TJ Jackson's YouTube is TJ Jackson's World. Um, oh, that's his at. Let me see. Yeah. Oh my god, TJ Jackson World. Okay. <laughs> Let me slow down. Oh, I'm already about to give commentary. Let me stop. Let's get better. That's interesting. In two weeks. I'm having technical issues. I think my um computer somehow is hooked on to the 
headphones. Let me just take it off. La 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 la. Uh huh. Do so y'all hear the the music in the background? I'm playing something, streaming something. <laughs> Mm-mm. Okay. You'll look better. Come on, come on. Can I sue Apple for my AirPods not doing what they said they would do it the way they would do it? Come on. There we go. All right. There's a commercial on mine. Oh, here we go. God love technology. Would it not be alive if we didn't have at least one technical issue? All right. Heaven on my lips and I'm with you. <laughs> I love music. Music is like for me, like my favorite thing to soothe my energy. All right. I'm officially ready. And so is Serena. And so is Kate. Hey, get out. I'm out at a bar. I almost forgot. I'm weak. Make sure you, you order a glass of milk. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Press play. What is this like? My fifth, fourth time watching this. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I feel like we should do like a thriller or Billie Jean challenge and make a playlist and just keep playing the video till it gets to a million. <laughs> oh, how many views has this got? Oh, I can't see it yet. That's interesting. My headphones won't won't pick up. Even like the use of color, the saturation of turquoise, the blues, like all that stuff is just so purposely done. It's mm -hmm. like, dude, I can't wait to shoot videos to this level. Mm -hmm. Get my glasses on. My song. Yo, because oh, wait, we, oh, don't get me started about this song. Love got me hypnotized. Okay, I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're my trigger. TJ is kind of tall. I remember when I was at the house, he did it. He it was he was on my YouTube channel with me, and I'm like, I feel like a midget compared to him. I so sure. I'm like, dang. He got them Jermaine and Jackie jeans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got some height on them. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> do I? <laughs> the power of love is the reason why my healing with my own personal life has gotten so far. Shout out, shout out to Taz and TJ for that podcast. How tall are you, Carol? I'm already She's on the team. Like to see TJ with this bad boy. <laughs> it fits him though. Like, like we see TJ like the dad slash 3T artist. Now, this is TJ the bad boy man. I'm here for it. 
Mm-hmm. I like I love the production of it. Like the whatever camera work and whoever's directing yes! it. Mm-hmm. Why do I feel like the girl is at the like the bad the bad one at the end of the day? I wanna know why he looked at her like that. Oh, here come the part. No, why do I get an ad? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Yes, I went to Thriller Night twice. Oh no, there's a commercial. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, I got I just got one too. TJ? <laughs> oh, Carol, same for me. Chow, oh. we gotta talk. That po- that freaking podcast is everything if someone's going through a series, which we gotta talk after this. Yes. Okay. Well, you guys have a commercial? Just, no, not anymore. I'm out of it. Look at him. You know what a man does that lean? That lean. I'll leave that alone. Oh. <laughs> Said they're out to no good. In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> this girl taking her training and using it. <laughs> Yo, someone had me crack out. With this scene, I said, "Tell me you saw M M M without saying you seen it." And somebody goes, "When you go into the store and steal a gallon of milk and don't pay for it." <laughs> like, what's the thing with the milk? I, I, I know, I know what this is. We're gonna debrief after this, and then they're gonna break into a private property. <laughs> <laughs> what celebrity house this is? <laughs> Let me stop. Probably. Don't you forget it. Also, you see a lot of uh, brushes of white. And I'm like, well, Mm -hmm. is it milk related? That white versus black contrast has to mean something. Wait, with with what he's wearing or in general? Just in in general. general, Color is so prominent here. Mm-hmm. No, don't ever watch this video with red glasses. You won't appreciate it. <laughs> if I've seen this before. <laughs> what if that helps you see the the contrast of what we're what we're missing? Oh, so you're saying if it if it's really like you wear it and you'll see the meaning behind something? Yeah. No, no. I'm just saying if you want to appreciate the color grain uh, they did on here, don't wear the red glasses. Because oh, yeah. everything is literally red to me. Literally. Maybe that's the point. Maybe that's what he wants. To, he wants yeah, to, like oh, Mizzle, he got this part scared me. I'm like, uh, she playing a little bit too much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh my god, I think she's the villain. Even her wearing that white dress. Oh wait, Carol, I think I know who you are. Hmm. And if it's the Carol I'm thinking about, you also went to Popcorn Night last year. And you had a t-shirt on with you and Prince together. I don't know if it's the same Carol. Did y'all see the origami? I I didn't realize it was there too. Oh, it's right. Wait, hold on. What, what, where are you guys? uh, um, Well, the origami uh, passed, but it was like around seven. Okay, I got you. It's how he smirks at her like, oh, like his acting here is really, really good. He should but really go into it. Sometimes he'll like look at her like he doesn't, like he's like, <laughs> like, like when she was in the pool, he was just kind of like, <laughs> I'm like, what's this supposed to mean? Oh, I did meet you. Yes, I'm the one with the green hair. 
<laughs> the minute you said, I said, I know who this is. I didn't edit my video from that day, but we did talk. And I said, oh, I love your t-shirt. <laughs> Hmm. It's a small Jackson family world. I think in this scene, he's really sitting there to appreciate what he has. But for some reason, I'm feeling like he doesn't know who she is. Like, I don't know if that's the story. Why do I get another commercial? Oh, Jesus. I hope this hard. channel is... um. Monetize, cause <laughs> like what? Maybe one day I'll show you um Ooh. my ex. My, one of my exes looked like TJ. I was like, yo, especially in the Malcolm Moore scene. I'm like, what? The, no, when he's in the um doing this slide, I'll be called this the pictures. I was like, oh my god, rock. <laughs> <laughs> This part right here, that boom, and then the camera goes. <laughs> there goes the swan. Oh, this. Ew. There goes the origami. <laughs> this scenery. There goes that flower. Look how damage goes so well with this toxic relationship. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm not for toxic relationships, though. But for the <laughs> sake of this short film, sure. The little... What do they call it? When they do the... The blood bonding? Is it the blood bonding? Oh, the, the, the blood pact. Blood pack, I think. Yeah. That... Ooh, the first few times I watched it, I was like, <laughs> Yeah, this is intense. <laughs> it is. Like, I, when I saw it, I said, What did I just witness? And the usage of the red. Mm -hmm. Is that the passion? Huh, that's a good that's a good question, actually. Damage. Woo. I like how they're just eating corn on the cob. <laughs> Yo, we should have had that. <laughs> corn on the cob. All the, it's like a lot of symbolism. Yo, for me. I really appreciate this song because of MMM. It's been a while. This scene right here. Right? And then the way he just kind of like, <laughs> homie, she got it. <laughs> She's very free spirited. Yeah. Just. This part is dark. Yeah. I love how he's looking at her like, should I let her do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, he just, I think I'm a little ahead of you. I'm at. 11.45. They're like sitting. Okay. I'm at 11.27. Oh, yeah. We're a little off. Okay. Ooh, got you. Okay, okay. That's why y'all not reacting to anything I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you at now? Well, I'm going to pause. I'm at 11.58. I'm at 12.11. I'm at 12.28. Let me know when y'all get to 12.28. You know. Okay. I'm going to go right here. Okay. I'm here. You're there? Yeah. Okay. He's having second thoughts, ladies. All right. I'm I'm in 12 20, 28 now. This story was not what I thought it was the first time I watched it. All right. Why do I gotta add? 
<laughs> yeah, that's why we can't sing. Don't worry yeah. about it. There it goes. And there's the flowers. Look how he's looking at her. Yeah. Ooh, like I don't trust you. Jesus. Ah, oh, another commercial. Oh my gosh. I've never seen so many commercials for of something that's 15 minutes. This part was so... Mm -hmm. mm, Believe it or not, it's one of my favorite, like his acting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And then the the music, like, oh my gosh, this is this is heavy. <laughs> oh, I got a feeling that you're jumping, that you be my somehow. Got a suspicion of premonition. I can't wait to get the DVDs because he said there's some some backstory to it. Good. Then I could get my. I feel like a madman trying to figure out everything, but maybe y'all can help me. Like, like, like oh, basically snap. a commentary. Carlos in the building. What up? Hey. Oh, hey, Carlo. Like a commentary. Yeah, he's gonna have that. This but good. how did homeboy walk in the water and go underwater? Oh, did I spoil something? No, no. Okay. Oh my God, this was fantastic. Yo. Oh, that's right, because there's stuff going on in the credits. Yeah. Shout out to Omar. Woo, woo, woo. Yo, yo, I didn't even peep. She had a bloody hand. How dare you? Yeah. She's smoking the cigarette like, nah, I don't have time to wash my hands. <laughs> but do y'all get why she did it, though? No, no, no. Okay, okay, the end. He's the, the we. You remember he gave her the letter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I the whole time I thought it was a breakup letter, and then he mouths the words when he's handing it to her. Don't open it now. And then she doesn't because I'm like, why didn't she read it then? Then she's sitting in the room by herself. She's reading it. She's looking devastated. I thought homeboy broke up with her. No. At the end, when TJ's talking or Malcolm, he's saying. The the hunt for me is relentless because remember he was wanted. He was like, I'd rather it be your hands that part me from this earth okay. than, than 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 to be stuck behind this the 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 in the jail basically. Right. And then he's saying it's told that when a warrior takes out another warrior, they gain that warrior's strength. And you notice he wouldn't let her smoke that cigarette and she smoked the cigarette at the end. So essentially, when he's speaking at the end, that note is finally being read and that's why she was so devastated and that's why she probably wanted to herself. What? Wow. That's a and so it's kind of like a tragic love story. But then I'm like, she kind of looks like she has no regrets. I do have, right. a, I have a question though. Do we have footage of them like wh who do we know as of them as in the beginning did they just come in into a relationship or do were they like who were they before all of this right look the, see did he die at the end we don't know but at the same time if he told her why did know, he look right? so shocked when it happened One, we're gonna have to wait to get those DVDs, or two, be like, ah, I don't know. I mean, um, 
I don't know. Anything can be told. What, okay, so what do you guys think this story is about, basically? So I'm thinking it's about two people that I, I think they were in a hotel, at a hotel. He saw her. They were strangers. He gave her. And then blood was a prominent thing up in this thing, too. First time he saw her, she had, like, blood on her face. She looked she looked like she had got beat up or something. So he hands her the thing. Mm -hmm. But it's like they had this connection. So she remembers his door number. Remember they highlighted his door? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like that was signifying that she remembered what his room number was. So he, he she went, knocked on the door. He he allowed her in. And then here starts this, this wild love story. And then, mm -hmm, Caitlin, that's what I peep too. It starts with hers because the album, you hear his, you hear his point of view, his perspective. But I thought it was interesting that it started with her. I like how someone said, didn't, didn't they rob a store or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is, isn't that girl the reason why TJ's even in trouble? It's, it's yes. So, it's, it has so many like movie references in this film. It's I mean. In oh film. yeah, for like, sure. I'm like even like the outfit he has. Yeah. It's uh from something. Uh, something is another movie with a. Do you remember the movie, um, Tori? I gotta remember the act. It's a. It's like it's a, a French actor. Mm -hmm. It's a look, but in the mo in the movie, it's like a a little girl. Like she's a very famous actor now. Natalie Portman. Is that her? What's the movie? What's the it called? The Professional. 1994. Maybe they weren't strangers in the beginning. Maybe they seen revenge because he was always a bad guy. Okay. Possibility. TJ never... TJ could never get in trouble. Ciao. Mm -hmm. Listen, <laughs> he played that bad boy a little too good. I was like... Everybody got two sides. I know I do. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I didn't mean in a sexual way. Not even close. I mean, like, we all have two sides, though. <laughs> oh, no. Child, that didn't even cross my mind. Oh, because you said, I was like, no, I don't mean it like that. I just mean that we all have two sides. I was like, wait a second, what? <laughs> no, not, not that way. No, but just, like... <laughs> I know TJ. I know. Oh, can I see him as a bully? No, not at all. But I don't think he's a punk either. We learned that second gen, they're not afraid to pop off. Don't I don't blame them. <laughs> I feel like with TJ, though, he has so much patience. And it might. He does. You know, like, so he wanted to, you know, they say, don't mess with the nice folks. Don't That's do true. It. Mm. That's very true. I said, shoot. Oh, wait a second. One of my favorite actors, you know, Hayden Christensen, he's such a, like, when we see him in person, he's such a cool, you know, guy. But then again, he plays one of the biggest villains of all time, and he plays that villain a little too well. So I'd be like, where is he drawing this darkness mm -hmm. from? Like, <laughs> I was like, so no, everybody got two sides. It could be a good guy and a bad guy. So what you activate, I guess. I like the fact that uh, I, I don't I don't know if he after this does, does he want to go into film? That's I so really... funny. Wait, so what? But I said no, was a second chance. Somebody said especially Siggy. <laughs> I would say don't mess with Siggy and don't mess with freaking um, Taj. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with them two. <laughs> Pat's got a little something in her too. Be like, "Don't mess with them now." Prince too. Okay. Prince. Yes. <laughs> Don't mess with them second kids. Don't mess with them. Ah, uh, that dope. That is my dream. Listen. Mm hmm. One day I might share the connection with me and Three T, but we're gonna keep it slight. It's 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 a deep story. Um, but yeah, very down to earth. Um, I met TJ a couple of times. He's really cool. Him, him, and his, I never met. How do you say Terrell's name? I always say Terrell. Oh, I say Terrell. 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 Yeah. But they all seem like sweet people. They really do. Yeah. Ah, yes, it does. That's definitely. You know, it's funny. I I thought of Bonnie and Clyde. I don't know. 
It's a couple. I, I would say it's a couple little references in here. Yeah, I, I'm loving it, and I'm like, let's see, let's let's give our finger snaps to Omar and TJ Jackson. Yes, this this is passionate as finest. Cause I was like, what? <laughs> I'm gonna be watching this over and over and over again. It's one of those videos you just can't watch once. I would say watch it like. 10, 15 times, and then take it all in. It's something like, I know if we were in film school or film class, this is something my professor would make us break down and be like, so why this? Why the blood in the hand? Mm -hmm. The motorcycle scene where it's really going, you know, fast and manic. What does that mean? Like, that that's all means something. That's not random. Right. Yeah, I took a class too in movie, uh, movie theory. Same, you're right. That's cool. And he had a lot of symbolism. Oh, what up, Susie? That's supposed you, to be my state. What did you mm. guys think that the the um or origami meant? I don't know, or the black swan, or it's a couple of things in there. So I put a picture in. Well, I'm trying. Well, sharing the screen. Just grab it. Okay. Yeah, just put it on there. So this is when he took the mug shot. Or it was playing and stuff. So I noticed something, MM78, Malcolm Moore 78. And I was like, is he born in 1978? He is. Then you look at the date. Why is it October 4th, 2034? Wow. It's like, I don't know what that means. 10, ten years from now. What does that mean? What does that mean? 4th? Hold on. 2034. What's October 4th? You know what? Hold on. Wait a too second. Too many, too many crimes. Too many to list. What? Not no, Malcolm Moore. Not Malcolm Moore. This is like one of those, um, those like, like sleuth things you're gonna have to figure out because the clues are in the details. Oh yeah. Yes. Um. Wait a second. Uh, okay. Hold on. No, that's not it. Wait a second. Wait a second. What does this mean? That's not it. Okay, let me see. We have two. We have two animal symbolisms with this, which is the swan. Supposedly, the swan is supposed to be something innocent, but it wasn't because it's the black swan. So which? I, so which is like a good a analogy? It's a right, right, right. Yeah, Nutcracker reference. Um, like you said about two sides. Correct? You said two sides, right? Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay. Um, you said something about blood, but I mean, that's self explanatory. You know? No, but it was so prominent to a point where it's like, oh, that needs to be examined. That needs to be examined. Okay. So, with the black swan, there's something called um, black swan events, and it's something like something that can't be. Gosh, it's like something crazy that happens that can't be predicted. But when you look back on it, it was like it could have been handled. This, uh, let me look at the me, definition. Let me, let me, where's my phone? <laughs> Black Swan events. So it's like a high impact event that is difficult to predict under normal circumstances, but that in retrospect appears to have been inevitable. Okay, never mind. Oh, like a psychological thing? No, like an event, like an event. like something that actually happens. So, like something that happens that has a high impact is difficult to predict under normal circumstances. But looking looking back at it, you realize, oh, it would have been inevitable. Oh, I see, an so, unpredictable event. Okay, so th okay, so you're right. Uh, an unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation and has potentially severe consequences. You think that's when he okay? So he knew he was gonna get caught, and maybe that was him coming to terms with like, either I'm gonna have homegirl take me out, or I'm gonna just go behind bars. Or <laughs> and it was just like, hey, okay. So, so, so as far as we as we know him, he is a criminal. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, oh God, I'm lost. <laughs> this is the definitely thing you guys see a couple of times. It's not, and I think that's what makes it such a cool video. It's something that makes you think. It enhances the the M -M -M music 
uh, CD or audio portion of it, I was like, yo, they really put a lot of thought into this. This is this was great. So, but I do have a theory. Okay, can okay, because off for me, do you think he's done these crimes? But like he he didn't do them, but he he covered for her specifically. Like she was the one that's doing that, and then at some point he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like go to the police and, and frame you. And you know she did what she did. I don't know. Hmm. It's too far fetched. I don't know. Oh wait, I found it. Okay. So the white swan origami. Here go the milk. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, no, no. Wait. I'm sorry, it's so funny. But the white swan origami. Okay. Is like he was reading this book called All to Your Life by an author named Emmett Fox. Ooh. And then the book is called uh, All to Your Life is a personal development book that will show you how to take control of your thoughts and therefore your life. Therefore your life. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, there was a longer summary. I, read. I just thought about it. Um, Emmett Fox. Okay. For unhappiness, frustration, loneliness, and other afflictions of the spirit. Dr. Emmett Fox prescribes a powerful remedy based on the life and message of Jesus. In All to Your Life, Fox explains that these dreary problems are actually bad habits of the mind, habits from which we can free ourselves. And when he was reading it, he used the white swan origami as a bookmark and he closed it. Okay. Let me see. Help me, y'all. Hold on. No, no, I get, no, I get it. I get it because there's a picture of um, Black Swan events, unpredicted, unexpected, major impact. And you know, it does tie in with the rose colored glasses. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, it's like they want to see what they. What, what do you guys think? Because rose color, both of them was wearing it too. Mm hmm. That's a, Oh, what? There's something that they're hiding and they're, they're aware that they have to hide something. And they ignore it. Yes. So, something, okay. Go ahead. No way. You can so, okay. keep going. There was a sequence in this video where, well, I want to say short movie, short film. Because there was a sequence when they were sitting and they were, you know how they were sitting, sitting on the rock and then they're all like this. And then the flowers. Something told me that was like a dream sequence. It wasn't real. <laughs> you know too. It yes. wasn't real. It was not real. Because... Oh she got the note. That's after she read that note, and she's laying in the bed, and she looks sad. And then there's somebody next. One of them has a gun. Like, they have a gun next to him. Mm-hmm. I think that's Malcolm. But it's like she wakes up. She looks sad. But even the coloring, the color grading of that scene, mm-hmm. of them just, like, eating the corn, like, the something, one last dance. Something about that didn't look real to me, especially because I kept looking at the flowers behind them. And I'm like, it looks a little odd. It doesn't match the gradient. You, you guys mentioned color gradient, but it didn't match the rest of it. It was so weird. I was like, this got to be like a dream sequence or something that they imagined, but it wasn't real. Which comes back to the Black Swan event. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yo, TJ. Listen. This is deep. I tell TJ had a gun or a camera. He had both. Okay. <laughs> he did. Yeah, I think he had both a Super five. 8. Yeah, Super 8, I think it is, and a gun. <laughs> so I don't know. So I kind of that I kind of thought that was a dream too. Like I either thought one, it was a dream, mm-hmm. or like she was imagining having one last happy moment with him. Yeah. Or two, like if it was real. They had one last moment together before she had to do the deed. If it was real, I get that part. But there's, I think, I don't know, Trish, if you remember, in film study, there's there's a term for uh, things happening, like a sequence that's not meant to be real. There's a name for that. Like it's, oh, it's, my it's, God. And of course, I'm drawing a blank right now. What is this? Oh, my God. Oh. We should, should, okay, should we watch this again and just, like, pause at specific moments so we don't have time? Oh, we have time. I, I wonder if we could play and just mute it. Okay. 
Is that taking a risk? You think sh- YouTube is going to shut it down if we mute the music? Oh, I see what you mean. So this way, yeah, it's like, it's kind of tough because he got co- copyright music in there. Mm-hmm. You're right, you're right. And it's like, I mean, ah, that was the only issue with all the commercials. We weren't even all synced up. Yeah. Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if... This is another thought I had. It's like he was coming home. It's like he went away when he was at the Swan when he was reading the book, it was like he was away by himself and he had a suitcase. And it was like, she was at home by herself and he's reading the book and it's like, alter your... So what if he was potentially trying to get his life together? Like, I'm going to be a better person. Did you see the title? Did you read the title of the book? Yeah, it's called Alter Your Life. She did. Yeah, she did notice that. And then he's coming home looking happy because he's going to tell her, I don't want to do no. Don't go through with the plan. But she already has it in her head, and so when she, that's why he looks shocked. Like, wait, I was gonna tell her no. There has to be oh a God. reason. Not for <laughs> nothing. Going into the story, it gets a little creepy. Why? Because I'm, I'm. There's something about some of the sequence that wasn't real. They got to be something that's not real in the sequence, and there's hiding like, like even the part where they go down the mountain. You know how they went down the mountain and then you see the buildings behind the, the mountains? It was it real? It's just something about this is like hiding something. Like there's a clue. And why were some scenes in black and white? Like when he was like, when you remember how he was drawing the picture of her, he gave her the note. Why was that in black? And they looked like they were like a normal happy couple. They weren't in the, t- they weren't in like the criminal outfits. Oh my God, this is so many, so many. What does this mean? <laughs> if, okay. If TJ is a movie person, and we already know that- Oh, and he is. He he loves reading books and going to movies. So the thing is, there's so many themes in this short film. One, the professional. Two, Bonnie and Clyde, but then someone said something else. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mm Mm-hmm. And then three, I think it has a lot to do with Tenet. Tenet was a movie that came out um, 2000, 2000. But, But whenever you want to change a sequence, you change the color gradient from red to blue. And you know the difference of when, when the mm-hmm. time was there or when it wasn't, just based on color. So you mentioned black and white. Yeah. And you'll see a lot of white in the flowers, of course, in the milk. I'm like, what's the symbolism with the white? Can someone tell me what that flower is? I could not figure out what that flower which, was. Which flower? It looked like a... Was it an orchid? It's an orchid. It I mean, is? It's an orchid. I think it's an oh orchid. Oh, my God. Is that oh, what it was so the let whole time? That. Let me check what that means. Because are you are you are you saying that if they emphasize that flower like real? I think they did. It's just nothing. Nothing's random. Because they kept showing it in the house that mm-hmm. when she had the 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 pew pew to her head and like he he hugged her after or something. Yeah. They went to a shot of the flowers. Then when he he was standing there and one clip he was holding the flowers. And then when they were that that picture right there where you said it, it seemed like a dream sequence, the one that's on the screen right now, yeah, yeah. she was walking and holding the flowers. Well, according to the wait, no. Garden consisting of a place where fruit or nut trees are grown. <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> well, you know what? This might be a good time to plug this. We might have some answers in the MMM Blu-ray that is now available for pre-sale. You say five dollars. Mm-hmm. TJ Jackson. I think I'm missing. I think I think it's called TJ Jackson's music. Give me a second. Oh my gosh. Give me a second, y'all. I think it's TJ Jackson's music.com. I'll put everything in the links in the, in the description bar. Do you know this website off site, um, Tori? TJ Jackson music. Com. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, disregard that. TJ Jackson Music dot com. Pre order it there because I he said there will be some some things answered. Is there a way I can fix the website real quick? Hold on. I know. Sh- you know, you know, I cannot wait. <laughs> it's 
it's crazy. I remember I found TJ's channel during the pandemic because I didn't even know he was online like that. But you know, that's when we found out the family rules and all this other stuff was there, which is really, really cool. Real quick, did you guys notice that he wasn't wearing the glasses at the end when he got stabbed? See, that's he did. That's why I think he was going to change his life around. He was reading that book and and he saw the the black, and you see how the black swan looked at him. And then he, the white swan came back up. And I feel like he, that was him like kind of cleansing like himself of the bad stuff. And he was going to change his life. And he's walking home with the suitcase and he's going to tell her no more, no more. But she already had it in her mind. And she went through with it. And they say, and he was like, oh, when someone, a warrior takes another warrior, they absorb their strength. And then she, that's when she brought the cigarette back. Yeah. Pause. (laughs) No, wait. What? What if she did this before? Because when he first saw her, why she had blood on her face? At the end, she wiped blood off her face. True, true. What did she get? What she experienced? <laughs> no, let me stop. I'm going too deep. No, 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 no. I, 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 I think I get it. And then he he gets in the water. He stands like he's floating in the water at first in the beginning. And he that's floats. symbolism. Yeah, and that's symbolism for baptism. He wanted to be redeemed. Ah. And then so- he gets up in the water at the end, and he walks to the water. I'm like, homeboy, I thought you was yep. gone. That's redeemed. That's that's being redeemed. I, oh my god. I hope he explains this. I, it's gonna be <laughs> there we go. There might be some explanation here, y'all. I would <laughs> definitely um pre-sell it. Let me see. So, does anybody know what the deal with the milk is? I have some insight from our station head. I don't know if you guys want me to play that audio, but we're going. I'm, we're going to be back to square one after we hear it. Well, with the milk, it's a reference to again the movie The Professional because the professional himself drunk milk. He never drunk uh, drank alcohol or or anything. No water. It's always milk. Um, that's the only thing I know. That's the only reference. So, but the meaning behind it, I don't know. That All right, guys. Be- so we're going to play some audio from a recent station here with TJ and Tori. All right, here we go. So TJ, are you going to answer the question of the year? Do you know what the question of the year is about your, about MMM? I don't. I'm, I'm, you tell me, Trish, what is it? What is the deal with the milk? Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, you want to hear something funny, Trish? Get this. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't even really care for milk. <laughs> it's not like I'm a milk drinker. I eat my cereal now, but I, I it's not like oh, I want a glass of milk. But that's Omar, um, the director. He thought it would be cool and interesting for this, um, you know, Malcolm Moore to just be love his milk, and um, we ran with that, and and he was right. You know, it was funny because when we first when we first got to Hawaii, you know, we went to a store. And we were getting food for for us to eat, you know, not for the film, but just in general for us to eat. And he said, um, Jizzle, we need to get some milk. And I'm like, you drink milk? And he goes, yeah, I do, but we need it for the film. And I was like, milk for the film? And he's like, trust me. So there you go. He <laughs> he included it on many different shots. And at the end, the sound effect of the milk still pouring kind of gives you the hint that there may be more to come. Um, so yeah, it, it, that's another fun piece. That's just, that's, I, I, as much as I wish I can take credit for being part of that, that's a hundred percent Omar. Wow. Something in the milk ain't clean, ain't right? Clean. I don't <laughs> care for milk. Listen, I honestly love milk, but I didn't realize I am um, sensitive to it. Like so this. there will be. A vegan option of homemade hemp sweetened milk. I'm going to put it on the I Love the Jackson family Instagram because I actually have a TJ Jackson glass. So I said, you know what? We're going to make it a TJ thing. So, um, because I I actually love milk though. I do drink it straight all the time. 
I can't believe I drank all this already. It's like <laughs> you know, not for nothing, but guys, I have a confession to make. This was never milk. This was chai tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rocky. I'm, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't. Yeah, That's literally what I was supposed to bring. And I forgot because that was going to be my milk substitute. Look, yeah. cow, cow makes cow's stomach upset. Yeah. yeah. I love milk, but it doesn't agree with my body at all. Yeah. Non. So, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like, ah. I don't think milk agrees with a lot of humans. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I like the monster. I'm done. <laughs> so I, I think in the DVD, the milk thing might be addressed. We don't know. Maybe we could do maybe a Discord once everyone gets their DVDs. I'm not sure. I feel like there's something more to that daggone milk. Um, But this awesome project gave us I think four or five new Jackson family references. You have the beanie hat, the red specs, the trench coat, the suspenders. Anything else? I guess milk. Yeah. Somebody oh. can come in Thriller Night dressed as a milk cart. Hopefully TJ would crack up. He'll be like, really, y'all? Really? <laughs> Please come back. Come back. <laughs> right? She does. I'm, I love coconut milk. I love coconut milk. You know, I'm going to order my, my beanie hat. I even have the TJ necklace on tonight. But you know what's really cool? I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me put this on here. Um, I actually put that TJ pin on the beanie. So if you guys have the TJ beanie, just also put like a little pin up here. It's so cute. I was like, this song. <laughs> Tori, I must admit, you inspired me to get TJ merch. Where's Rocky? Oh. <laughs> you know I go to this every live where I just forget how to do a live. Um, Wait, you said what, Trish? I'm sorry. I was like... <laughs> you inspired me to do um buy TJ merch. I remember you did a haul like two, three years ago and that's when I started collecting TJ Jackson stuff. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And he, he's his stuff is very well curated. But if I had to throw something out there, TJ Jackson's team, y'all need a glass, a milk glass, just based on the MMM album. That would be I was like, marketing. that would be epic. Great marketing. Yeah. Oh, you remember the t-shirt idea? Oh, with Malcolm? Yeah, so the mug shot on the front and then in the back have like the credits and it's like uh, leading actor is Malcolm Moore, TJ Jackson, and then I can't remember... I cannot remember her name. New? I can't remember her, her character name. name. New? Oh, I think it's oh. New or something. But they can have, you know, have her name as if it's in the credits. And then supporting actor, Milk. <laughs> 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 on the back of the shirt. Oh, my God. Mm. Like, on the left, this version of TJ, that's almost like how my ex looks to the T. I was just like, that is so disturbing. He looks so different. Right, because I'm like, this is TJ. This is New York TJ. This is not TJ from Cali <laughs> slash Texas. This is New York TJ. And I'm like, yo, that's a whole different TJ. So are we ready to talk about the station head? Mm-hmm. All right. So let's give a shout out to TJ's Moonlight, who hosted on April 1st, and celebrating 3T Day, a station head. So just like watching um, TJ's watch party inspired me to do this watch party, this station head inspired me to do a nine-hour station head with Tori that turned out to be one of the best days of my life. And this says, that says a lot because you know it's a very special life and I'm here for it. <laughs> So it was so funny in the very beginning, TJ stops by. He's like, Hey everyone, da da da. I have a session, but then you know, thanks for da da da. Then like an idiot, I put the fainting emoji. Everybody was cracking up at this point. Cause he walked into the room. So I'm like, oh God, so sweet of him. I'm thinking the day's over. Tori does the other four hours, and that's when he comes up in the room and he talks. <laughs> at this point. 
at this point, and now when I play back the video, I don't know if you guys, I mean, the audio, you'll hear rumbling. That's me with the microphone doing this. It was like, because I didn't think I was going to talk because it was no toy station. I was like, uh, uh, uh. I had to get you on there. I was like, I'm No, so it was like, funny. If you play it again, you're going to hear uh, like a rush. It's literally, I was like. <laughs> so, um, we're going to highlight one of me and Tori's favorite moments. Do you want to do the intro or just play it? Because it's like three minutes. Oh, you could just play it. I don't even remember. <laughs> okay. All this. right. Here's our highlight or one of the highlights from that night. Like you and Omar are just a awesome duel. Like Janet Jackson and Teddy. Um, yeah. Teddy, um, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy Jam. Jam. And yes. Yeah. You found your Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis combo like you and O are really really good together yeah right? you know it's respect it's appreciation and we talk we talk a lot you know um, when, when years ago we've been working on this project I, I always send him songs that I'm working on and and get his feedback and you know he's such a humble person he's such a student of of art and of what makes art he reminds me a lot of my uncle in that way he studies it and he wants to know why does do you like something why is this resonating and I, that fascinates me and and i've done a lot of music videos with him um and it's so funny because when i the first one i did with him was insomnia in paris I, I I had assumed that I'd be working with different directors and different teams for each song. Like, you know, that was the way you did things. But since that very first music video, I, I said, this is the guy. So we did more. We did, I don't deserve this and I can't stand it. And then I had already shot most of last night, but I leaned on him to to put his final love on it and, and him to finish it. And then, you know, I, I always will feel like Omar will be my visual side because he understands me, he, he respects it, and I think he's brilliant. So I'm blessed. And, and, and for any artist out there, that's the goal, is to find a, a partner, find a collaborator that you can work with that, will, that you look up to, that, that will listen to you, that will that you can bounce ideas with because a healthy collaboration i really honestly feel is the, is the path to to great art i agree i think um i found my my omar and tor and tori um we met by chance and mm. we just bounce off of each other and she has me stepping up my thumbnails and you know, just yeah. constantly bouncing back ideas. And the good thing is we both have the same kind of YouTube channel. We are preserving the Jackson family legacy. So I, I do get that whole partnership mm -hmm. and how it enhances things. Mm -hmm. it's big. I, really it's would, I really would know like what I'd be doing had it, had it not been for uh, the partnership with, with Trish and stuff and she's helped me up my game and she's kind of like helped me to uh look at things differently or like oh i didn't think of i didn't think of doing it this way or just problem solving skills and yeah. you know just pushing me to work harder I i'm telling you um that is so important and the mutual respect i hear from each of you to each other is crucial it's huge and you know, I, I've seen the, 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 and been around, luckily, the, some of the most successful people, not only in music, but in other fields. And the one thing I've always noticed is there's a respect for their team. And there's team members on that team who, who play such a big role. And whether that's a two person team or five person team or, or whatever it is. You got to have respect for that other person and, and be humble enough to listen to each other and challenge each other to continue to grow to reach the highest points you can. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful message. Mm -hmm. that, was a, that was so, like... Unexpected. Was, that was unexpected. And I was just thinking, like, yo, this is a party for you, TJ. And here you are, like, uplifting us and all the listeners and stuff. And I'm like, TJ! 
you could just tell like he didn't have to do it but he he really spent time with us i think it was like 47 minutes i was like whoa i'm thinking it was like a 20 minute conversation but then when i recorded it back i went oh my god that's a lot of time with us and we're very very great grateful for that because i was like i'm sure you have a very busy schedule so you know that's wow yeah and, and, and thanks for the encouragement like you know, I get a lot of encouragement from the community and I get a lot of, sometimes I get encouragement for other, from other Jacksons, like once in a while, you know, I'll bump into one. They're like, oh, I like your channel or thank you for what you're doing. And it just keeps you going because a lot of us do this for the same reason. A lot of us fans, we just want to see the Jacksons win. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like, it's really cool, like for something like this to happen. It's the first time I ever experienced something like that. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was so nervous, man. I, I couldn't even put that in words. I, I, you, you played it off, but I know we were over. I know we both knew we were freaking out. Oh, I was freaking like, out. I was oh freaking God. out really bad. And there were certain moments where I was really quiet, but I was freaking out. Like I remember, he's about to get on there, and I'm just sitting there, like, okay, calm. And then it hits me, like, oh my gosh. Like I have to, and I almost started crying. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> no, but you guys handled that very well because I know. <laughs> oh, Rocky like, knows I'm such a goofball. Like I'm so. Oh my! You you kind of know like by my excitement. Like when I when I first got the bike, I was like, "I'm sorry, I'm going to geek out over you. I can't help it." Like. I couldn't help it. I was just like, I've I've been a three T fan from day one. And just to see them interacting with them and then, you know, get to see them sometimes in the Havenhurst. I actually saw TJ and Gary, Indiana back in 2012. And I was literally screaming and TJ just stood there. He looked frightened as hell, though, but he just stood there and he was he waiting to take the picture. Because I, I was like, TJ, like I was so oh, yeah, like, okay, excited. I, I was I like... <laughs> And I kept saying to the girls with the camera, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I did not want to miss this moment to get a picture with him. So, no, I oh my that God. Vlog. You were like, can we take a picture? Can we take a picture? He's like, he's looking like, okay. Uh, take that picture. <laughs> I remember that. But you know what's funny? I didn't get to get to get near him because I felt if I moved my, my, in my place, someone's going to take my spot. So I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. One thing, I might show you guys the raw footage from that day. It was so chaotic. I want to give a shout out to Prince, Paris, BG, TJ. Everybody went nuts trying to get to everything. It, it was a mess. And so in my vlog, it showed a different side, a more calm side. The real version is people hovering. And the guards did a good job keeping the kids protected because at the time, BG's tiny. You know, this is 2012, and I'm like, oh my gosh! And I, I believe TJ was looking out, after, you know, looking looking after the kids as well. They were kids back then, mm -hmm. so I was like, oh my god! I, I think it's really hard to be a Jackson. They make it look so easy. Thank you. Definitely, I'm gonna show that because it's like I want to kind of show this the stuff that we left on the cutting room floor. That's the real stuff. <laughs> He's very down to earth. Like, ugh, reminds me so much of his dad. His dad's really cool. Um, the family's just really, really cool. I know Carol said something about the family being down to earth a little bit earlier. They really are, and I think that's why a lot of us support the family because they don't have to be. Most celebrities are not nice. They're different. They actually, here we go. I love the Jacksons. Very down to earth. Heck yeah. Cause I was just like, they could be cocky and spoiled, and they're just not. They're just like, oh, thank you for showing up to our events. Oh, thank. You. Like we're just like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like every, it was like nieces and like like Brandy. It, it was the Michael Jackson Sapphire. Thing. It was Michael's event. Yeah, she thanked me for coming all that way, and I was like, huh? I was like, what? And then, like, another thing, like, I noticed is that, like, you know, some celebrities, like, you ask them, they just kind of, like, answer your question, whatever, da, 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 da. You can tell they genuinely want to talk to you and care about the conversation because they'll ask you stuff or they'll add more into it. And they'll, you could, it's reciprocated. It's reciprocated. That's the word. 
Yeah. Wait, hold on. I didn't know there was a station head tomorrow. Wait, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hold on. Did he did he advertise it or I think I think he did on Instagram. Let me see. What? Okay, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm about to type something in the chat. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> You're my dream girl. Wait, it's 10 a.m. Oh my goodness. Praise Jesus. I'm sorry. Wait, how Normally do you I gotta know wake about up this in the morning? Head. How do y'all know? I don't have to get up super early. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's advertised in Station Head? Go there? How do y'all know this? Oh. Trish, I, the, I, hold on. I don't, I don't see anything. How? Oh, wait a second. Oh, the email from earlier. I didn't read that part. Hold up. TJ, this is what happens when you don't read the whole entire thing. <laughs> it's not even that far. Trisha, make it make sense. All Come right. On. Thank you. Thank you for Serena for reading your email properly. I've learned my lesson. To celebrate, <laughs> why would I lie? I decided to do a station head broadcast about songs with questions in the in the titles. All right, April 13th. 10 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you, Serena, for reading your email correctly. Lesson learned. From <laughs> like, she's like, oh, the email that he sent you this morning from the newsletter. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm so good. I love when you guys remind what we're missing because this is the problem. We don't all know what's going on. If I ever get yeah. money, I would like a website to have a universal hub for everything. No, I will make sure I'm there for sure. Thank you so much. All right. So, ways to show love to TJ Jackson or Jackson family of member of your choice. Um, the easiest and the sh the cheapest is just to stream the music. On mm -hmm. Spotify, you have two tiers. You have a paid tier and you have a commercial tier. Uh, TJ actually created a beautiful playlist. He updated the playlist uh, today with a new song, plus MMM, and a Notori and I made playlist. It's a mix of TJ and the entire family. But the point is, this is the cheapest way to do it. It helps the album chart. It helps it helps bills get paid. You know, I, I think this album deserves to be charted. I'm just throwing it out there. Um mm -hmm. Another way, merch. Um, I got my mini meal cart of stuff. Let me. <laughs> I don't know why I actually had this in my house. All right, in my mini meal cart, this is some of the merch. I have the TJ Jackson's live performance when he was in Paris that me and Troy definitely want to do a watch party for. Mm -hmm. I have this t-shirt here green's my personal favorite color so i got a lot of stuff for green in it oh god i love the t-shirt uh -oh. this is definitely my favorite this is my one of my favorite episodes <laughs> from the family rules this is hilarious i will put this episode in the description bar i don't know if they sell that t-shirt anymore though um of course i have the t-shirt here once I saw MMM, I had to get damaged. I had to. And inside my milk cart purse. Oh my gosh. The fact that you have that is so funny. The um, MM, uh, what do you call it? Something All Your Fault. fault. All Your Fault, the single. I didn't open this yet, but this is the MMM album. I got this yesterday. What's in here? To open mine. Oh, the necklace, which I highly suggest everyone get. And I would suggest getting this little pin. If you're a minimalist collector, then I would just say get the pin and get um the necklace. So this way you could just wear a plain outfit and then you can just put your necklace on and your little pin and you're all TJ'd out. It's simple. 
because I know a lot of you guys like, oh, the collections are getting too big. My house is cluttered. Then that would be the... <laughs> no, I get it because I'm getting... So oh, and this is one of my favorite things. And Tori pointed this out earlier. When you buy... When T TJ releases an album, he actually has only 100 that signed. And then in the back, you have your number. So I'm number 76 out of 100. And then he signs it. This actually is a cute little message. Believe in yourself. It kind of tied in with the station head. Mm -hmm. So I got that a couple of years ago. I think that was one of the first things I purchased. Thanks to the encouragement of Tori. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know you back then. I was like, oh, she got married. <laughs> Yo, that was a foreshadowing. That was a, that was a hint that we were about to cross paths. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should make this an unboxing or just open this now. Um, we do have affiliate links for the glasses because next time we see TJ perform live, grab your beanies and your red hat and make it a thing. Yes. For sure. And the funny part is <laughs> we'll get into the fandom because I didn't know something until today. Thanks to um, Miss Tori. Another way to support Again, not only just TJ, but any Jackson that comes out with an album, you could purchase it and then download it. And this could be for your own thing. So I purchase all my music on Apple Music and on Spotify, I stream. Mm. So just to make sure they get double money. <laughs> and of course, to make something viral, I would highly suggest making TikTok shorts and reels. Now, unfortunately, MMM is not on TikTok, but it is on youtube and it is on instagram so any anytime you have an opportunity to make a short just use his music it helps make the song go more viral and get more ears on it and i again this goes for any of the jacksons if they have a project out if they have a new single that weekend that should be something everyone just does in the real and just make it a habit because th that's how they make money now things are just so different from like 20 years ago and most important, share the new music, the projects, the information. You guys share it in the um, lives. You share it in um, my DMs. Like, just get the word out. Hold on. We'll get back to that in a second. So the funny thing is, I had asked you guys on my community page, what should we call TJ Jackson um, fans? Yo, y'all clown me and you were like, uh, none of the above. <laughs> And so Tori pointed out, TJ fans already have a name. It's loyal loyalty. I didn't know that. So shout out to all you loyalties loyalty. out here. I, I didn't even get a chance to thank everybody for the station head. It was supposed to be nine hours. It turned out to be 11. And most of y'all stayed the whole 11 hours. I couldn't believe yes. this. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it because it was like, oh, I'm in school right now. Oh, I'm in work now. And people were jumping in and out the whole time. But they made sure that they get kept streaming and stay in the whole time. And I'm just like, yo, like, it's so dope. Tomorrow we have a uh, station head with um, Jennifer, right? Uh, a billion streams for Escape, correct? Oh, yeah. Is yeah. I think she's highlighting the Escape album. I think she's doing two different days or two different... Two different like, Saturdays. You know, they have the original and then the remix tracks. I think she's doing something like that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, by the way, TJ does have two different sites. So TJ Jackson's music has more of like the signature stuff, like what I'm wearing. And then he has stuff on Spring Tea. That's where you get the glasses from. That's where you get um, this T-shirt. It's interesting. So it's two different sites. So just be um, mindful of that. Um, I would highly suggest to get the music if you still do hard copies. Just in case they want to take stuff off a streaming service like TikTok did, you still own it no matter what they do. And plus so, you get more remixes. He has three websites. Three? What's the third one? His label. Rio de Rojo.com oh, and it, know that. it goes into his like music. Okay. But it's take it's like loading up. Cause he has like a um he actually has the logo for it in his um last night music video. The one that had like the, the retro theme. It was the one that showed him singing as a little kid. That one. 
and it was like mountains and like trees, but it's not loading. Wait, it's slowly loading. Uh, leave it to, to toy into the little extras. I'm here for it. Hold on, it's slowly loading. We're almost there. That's why if you ever get if you ever get an email that your uh package shipped from TJ, it'll say Rio de Rojo has sent you a package. Yes. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like, who is it? <laughs> For some reason, I knew who it was because of his son. Yeah. So I thought, oh, that's that's cool. Oh, here it is. You got it. All right, let me add it to yes. the stage. Oh, yes, this is so is. cool. So this is. Oh, I guess. Well, I guess it's kind of mountains, like hills and stuff. I wonder how he came up with that. It is uh, um, specializing in records, publishing, and management. Um, and then this is his, like, um, about him and, like, what he's done. The This is his whole discography. So he's I done. was surfing the whole internet for nothing. It was right here. Oh. Yeah. And then here's his emote. His, what do you call these? Uh, I forgot, but I think it's the cutest thing. Yeah. Yes. Those Apple... It looks just like him. He's like, because oh, of the man bun. And then, of course, here is... <laughs> He's like... Now, Mr. Mr. Hollywood, I'm here for it. Now I need to know, with everything that has meaning in this, this short film, why they picked this this shot for the for the thumbnail? Usually, usually um, YouTube does that. Yeah, that doesn't look like you made that thumbnail. I think it's YouTube doing that. Wait a second, let me let me look and see. Okay, no, you might be right. You might be right because I I didn't realize like I forgot that it had that film like framing. Okay, never mind. But my next question <laughs> is, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do 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 do. I would. Like to know why the dreamlike scene is the cover of the album. I know, I don't know. Rocky, help me out here. <laughs> well, no, not for nothing. Everything oh. we know about it is like it's like, is it real or not? Is it at, uh, is their relationship real or not? It's a whole. It's a, it's like a trying to take you away from what it really means. But I love it. I love this concept, to be honest. <laughs> This DVD could not come to the house soon enough. I'm just saying. So this we have, we have answers. We have we need, we have questions. We have questions. So wait a second. Is the cover the the colorful one or the red one? Oh, the red one for the DVD. The the, the yo, oh my god. Wait a second. Wait a second. The red glasses. <gasps> yep. That's why it looks like that. Cause it's like you're looking through the. Re- yeah. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a prop. It's a it's a okay a plot device. Now I have to watch the entire short film like this. Okay, that is so I have cool. to do that. Oh, I spilled milk on my shirt. I just brought the shirt. Oh, don't cry over spilled milk. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so... Oh, God, I'm so clumsy. It's annoying sometimes. That is so... I'm over here waiting for you to change the slide. I'm the one doing this. But yeah, check out this if you want to check out his discography and his wonderful artistry. This is from last night. Check out his other music videos too. You you know what I love about TJ's, I'm gonna say journey, is that he's doing this as an independent artist now. He's no longer with the record labels like that. He's doing this on his own, and I honestly think this is his best work. Oh yeah, Hang I love out. it. I it's love really it. good. I'm like, bro, I'm here. Very creative, very like sensual, soulful. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. Bringing R and B back, cause yep. you know, shout out to K pop because K pop is holding down R and B. So it's glad that you know, TJ bringing it back too. I was like, cause I remember my cousin loves K pop. So when she was like, oh, have you heard of K pop? I was like, not really. So we're listening to the music. I said, this is R and B, and she's like, yeah, but you know, yep. Oh, I was like, oh, I love K pop though. It's nothing, no hate. I'm, it'd just be nice to have some some. Some R and B artists in there too now, <laughs> <It's> like, <what? laughs> and it's like really good music. Mm-hmm. He's keeping live instruments alive too. Yes, yes. There are some songs when I hear it, I get chills. I listen to this album literally every day now, every day. 
and I hear something different each time. I'm like, wow. So I ain't gonna lie, TJ kind of set the bar high, just saying to my fellow artists in terms of like bringing real music back. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yep. I can't wait to see what he does next. I know. I know. Oh and you God. know something's down the pipeline. Because Taj just straight out said it was. <laughs> There's something down the... And you got his brother, I think, comes out with a new single next week. Yeah. Carol, April 19th. Oh. I can't wait. Oh, we are being man. dead. Oh, yeah. This is a season for Jackson's. Off that. It's just a season it's for Jackson. good for them. It's about time. Yeah. But this is such a good, good start. Because I... I'll, I'll give Austin Brown his props. Fire was fire. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love Paris Jackson's Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. What else came out last year? Of course, T.J. Jackson had some singles last year. But this is our first full album. Full album. Probably since Paris Jackson 20 what? 2022? Mm -hmm. Full yeah. album? Yeah. I know she did... Ooh, now you got me going to look. Because we haven't, you know, I know Janet mentioned new music, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, Yeah, like we haven't gotten albums from anybody for a minute. Mm -hmm. She gave us an EP in 2022. Um, yeah. Paris, correct? Yeah, Tarot did give us kind of like a, a couple songs, but they were like his website exclusive. Very, songs. very exclusive, right? No streaming platforms. But now Terrell's coming on Spotify, so look out for him as well. And just go for all the three T brothers. Mm -hmm. We got, we got some subliminals. There might be some, some more blessings to come. And, and be supportive. And I, again, I know like everyone's financial, everyone's finances are different. But I would say minimum, sign up for Spotify for free and just stream. Play a playlist or two every day and just get it circulating. That's why Tori and I did this stuff on Spotify. So if you don't, if you guys don't have Station Head, you can still stream what we were playing. Mm -hmm. So, because it's just like, no, just get the music circulating. Get get the Jacksons charting. Let's get ready for the Thriller Challenge and the MMM Challenge. I'm just going to add, <laughs> just add one there. <laughs> I love Paris Jackson. Oh my gosh! Was it? Is her birthday tomorrow? Or when's her birthday? No, it passed already. It was yeah. April ninth. No, April third. April third. April third. Yeah. No, just just Paris is the thing. One year. Hey, though, but I need to hear him. I need to hear him try though, because you know you can be your worst critic. That I need is to true. Hear him try. Imagine like BG comes out of nowhere, just like <laughs> rips and rips and rips. right. I mean, yeah, Jafar was a he was a shocker when I heard him. I was like, okay, yo, my you gosh, know clip of him at the piano. That's the first time I heard him, and I flipped. <laughs> probably next year, Jafar is the one we probably will have to look forward to some some new music. Um, when the biopic is done, yeah. But um, for now, I'm very happy with what TJ's doing, and I'm I'm glad, I'm glad he did the watch party because it it made me just go record scratch like because I've heard all the singles, mm -hmm. but I just heard it differently once I saw MMM. Like now, one of my favorite songs is One Last Chance. I was like, and it's because of the album. I was like. Oh God! Wait, hold on. Wait, uh, what's uh, what does MMM mean? Did he did he say? Yeah, yeah. Music. Wait, music mystery and magic or magic mystery. Hold on, let me put magic it mystery memories. And that's what music does. It does give you memories. It it's it latches on into your real life. Like I feel like every album is another chapter in your life. So now it's like okay, spring gave us MMM. You know, so that, mm. and I mean, I have like for every Jackson, every time their stuff came out, it defines that that time frame. So I was just like, I'm gonna be playing this for the whole year. 
Say goodbye. <laughs> so we're going to get into Janet real quick because, you know, TJ is the main subject. But Janet is trolling on her season, so still yes. Janet Jackson season. Do you want to talk about what happened this morning? Because this is a very funny morning. <clears throat> and you know what? There, oh, it all started yesterday when I was at work and I decided to check Instagram. I open my phone and this picture of Janet is the first thing I see. I cut I love my headset story. off. I said, hold off. And I ran to the back and they heard me scream. And I was frantic and I was freaking out like, oh my gosh. And then I look at the caption. It said, Ricky Smiley, Jimmy Fallon, Ryan Seacrest. I was like, press to her. She said, check, the, check her IG story for more information. She was going to be on all three of those platforms. Okay. Well... She had a direct time for Ricky Smiley. Ryan Seacrest was kind of like a gamble. Like, we didn't know what time necessarily. And then, of course, she was on Jimmy Fallon tonight, which I have to watch after this. But she, um, since she gave us a time for Ricky Smiley, I was like, okay, I will get up at the booty crack of dawn so I can host a lunch party <laughs> or a listening party. And um, if people want to join, they can join me. We can figure out what what's what she got up her sleep. Well, yeah, we get on there, and we're ch- chatting it up, talking about what could it, you know what could she possibly be talking about. And then um, this lovely individual gives me a heads up, and I appreciate it because I didn't want to sit there and look like a fool. And she said, "Hey." Um, Janet just put on her story that they changed the Ricky Smiley morning show appearance to Monday at the same time. And I said, what? At this point, we're all in the live looking, we're all laughing at this point. We didn't know what to do. We're just cackling. We're like, what do we do? I had to change the thumbnail, the name of the live, and the description all after. Yo, look, look this, this is the message we had this morning. <laughs> The Ricky Smiley Show needs to move our segment to the same time Monday. If we team, we apologize for the inconvenience. You are forgiven. It was so <laughs> funny, though, because Tori texted me. She's like, oh, you know, da, 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 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm, like, mad tired. The dog woke me up because I set the alarm. I was like, all right, let me just get up. And I was like, wait, I, I, what? I got for this? But it was funny. It made it very funny live. I, I, I gave you that. I've never had it happen to us. We were just like, wait, what? It really did. And then she did end up going on Ryan Ryan Seacrest. We found the video and she revealed some some cool stuff. So So what's going on with Janet? So, of course, she's going on tour starting in uh, well, June 4th to be exact. And she said that last year she um, basically like she mentioned that she wanted to include songs for the, you know, like the diehard fans and stuff, like deep cuts or songs that she never performed before or hadn't performed in a long time, which she did. And she said she wanted to do more of that this year. And she slipped in there possibly some new music. And then Ryan mm. Seacrest said, you know, the last time you were, you know, where what about the new music? And he's like, is there an album? And she apologized. She was like, you know, I feel bad because I told you last time when I was on here. I said I was doing an album. It was the Black Diamond album. But, you know, of course, 2020 Life happened. Mm-hmm. And she said she had to handle some stuff in her own backyard. And now I think she said new music could be coming. So <gasps> we don't know when. We don't know what it is. For the format, any single album, we don't know. But she said now... Think music is coming so oh shut up bro after she mocked us December yes where's the new music where's the new, new music, music? Nah, nah, nah. I'm like you better come with a single when you talking <laughs> so music videos singles something yes. and so then I'm telling you Janet posted like 5,000 times today okay then, you know, we watch that interview. She looks so happy. She looks so youthful. 
and we're just like raving over it. Boom. She on the Drew Barrymore show. Is it? Oh, clip. that was a funny clip. I wish I could show that. Drew boy Drew had me in the floor. She her mouth was open the whole time. I was like, and then Janet went and was like, <laughs> right? Because Drew clearly a star too. And I mm-hmm. she got starstruck. I find it so cool when stars get struck over other stars. I'd be on the floor. I'd be like, that's actually funny. Oh, goodness. But I I knew she was on the Drew Barrymore show because someone had, like, took a photo there. I'm like, ooh, don't get in trouble now. And it got out. Yeah. But when I saw, like, up close, and she came out all shy and stuff and all graceful, I was like, oh, my God. And then shortly after that, that's when I saw Tara was releasing new music April 19th. So I, I I like literally lost my voice because I was screaming, but um, yeah. And this, is, this, is, this season is Jackson's guys. I don't know. If, I, I mean, every single fan has a part in that because when they were trying to tear Janet down, we wouldn't let that happen. They tried to get Michael, we wasn't letting that happen. You know, like when when the second gens came out with music we keep supporting just keep and keep doing that because you know i can see if it's like people are like being lazy or something no they're actually working they put in the work they put in the work pass and they still are and tj jackson's a great example of what what passion looks like because i was mm-hmm. like yo you would thought he was behind a label everything was so professionally done just everything, his look, the video, the music. I was just like, wow. Yeah. That's what's up. I'm I'm really feeling this photo of, of Janet. I really do. So like I keep looking at it. Yeah. I wonder when she took it. Who was this taken? Um I have seen this movie, and maybe one day we could do Why Did I Get Married Part 1 and 2. Like, maybe one part 1 could be done on my channel, the Part 2 on Tori's channel. Um, we'll see. That, that could be a pending idea. Lord, why did, what was it? Why did I get married, too? That was... I actually saw that with my family. I saw it with my siblings and my mom. I seen them with my cousins. I remember that, too. Like, especially part two of my sis- my stupid sister kept mimicking the part with the ba- baseball bat. I was on oh. the floor. Hey, man. My family is really big on Jackson stuff and we'll, we'll, we'll support. That, that's the cool thing of, of having a family like that. Like, of course, my family's not as big as me and my mom were. Well, my mom's not around anymore. But, you know, it's just me, me and my mom and then I have a cousin named Angie and then I got two cousins in Cali. We're the biggest five Jackson fans, family fans. Like, my dream is to invite my cousins to the King of Popcorn because they actually live in California already. So I was just like, one day I want to buy them tickets so they can experience it. They would appreciate it. So I was just like, man. But, I was like, but even though my siblings are not as big fans as I am, they, my mom still... If my mom paid for something, they would be, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll go, we'll go. <laughs> like, they like the Jacksons. They're just not, they're not super fans like me. So, but it's kind of cool. We all got to see that together. It's like, that was a funny night, too. Yeah. Yes, I do remember the backstory to her, that scene. You felt that, too. Mm-hmm. There's nothing like losing a family member especially a sibling or like a parent unfortunately some some people i know people who lost their kids though these are big deaths i can't imagine you're working on this movie and you just lost your brother like you you felt that pain janet's actually a good actor though but you you really felt like her real life was coming out in there mm-hmm. yes see you're lucky carol you're down there already um, I know she asked a question about King of Popcorn. June. Um, I, I don't know if I can go that far, but I should have started. But I'm working on it. I won't have an answer until a couple of days. The flights are still expensive. But I ain't gonna lie. Since you guys are cool enough to be here this late, I don't mind saying it on this live. Because that means you stay all the way to the end. 
Um, if I could, I'm gonna try to make the June one because they got that off the wall and they playing dirty. Y'all are daggone wrong for this. <laughs> right. I was like, come on. Y'all know I love me some off the wall. Mm-hmm. That's my era. Is so we'll, we'll see. It's a dope album. It's like, bruh. That and dangerous. Love those eras. Uh I know Dennis is I uh MJ Fango's favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would say my favorite is Bad and Thriller. But I mean all album, all MJ's albums are dope, but there's just some like like I can play like from start to finish. That's those two albums. TJ Jackson's MMM from start to finish. When you have an album I can play from start to finish. Kudos, kudos. Like I, I know like dangerous. There's some songs I, I skip. Same thing for bad. I said, but off the wall and thriller. Actually, thriller to me is better. No, I like off the wall a little better than thriller. Cause thriller. <laughs> no, listen. Thriller is more like a, a flash mob kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is a dope, yeah, it's a dope song, but I'm not like <laughs> No, I'm not doing that in my house. No, but for a flash mob, hell yeah. For the Thriller 3 Challenge, sure. Favorite songs from MMM. <gasps> Damage, yes. One Last Dance, yes. Secret, yes. All Your Fault, yes. Moving on. It's the whole album, and it's so fire. I, I love feel it. like I'm the only one holding it down for a night to remember. <laughs> no, no, okay, listen. Remember... If you see some of my old videos, I used to always say, it's a night to me. I used to always sing that song, even in the video. So that was my favorite. But damn it. It's not my favorite. It's okay. I am here for a night to remember. You know, <laughs> before like I found out that a night to remember was going to be on this album, I could have seen it standing alone as its own music video, like yes. just a fun night, like the town, just an adventure and stuff. Oh my god! So wait, out, out of all of the nine the songs, what do you think stands out as his most? Like that should be the single of the singles. Surprisingly, I want you now. Surprisingly, that's what I was thinking too. Wait, hold on. Now I have to go. That's Wait. something a normie, a, like a non Jackson family fan can listen to, and they're gonna be like, it's it's it's, it's like you doing your little two step at the barbecue, like oh, <laughs> that's the song. But also, I know I promise you, I'm not being biased. That song and a night to remember. Those feel like remember. songs that like, you know, you play like you like she said the locals. The locals would be like, okay, okay. Right, like, you'll be like, "Who's this again?" And then everybody's on TikTok. Like, I'm just mad his stuff is not on TikTok because I was trying to make a like, like a movement. Like, yo, like let's get this stuff viral because these people are playing dirty on who goes viral and have these so artists are not even as good as the. Mm, I'm just angry. Like, no, I know, I know. There. it's like you just do something stupid and you're really famous and it's just weird. Yeah, you know, I was. The bare minimum. Well, let me not say. Sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying everyone's whack. I like that water girl. Um, what's her name? <laughs> I thought you meant water girl. Like here's your what, water. What's her name? Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. I like her. No, there was a girl that they play only. The, the problem is with TikTok, they play the best parts of a song, and it'd be like a few seconds. So you think the whole song sounds like that? And this is one song I don't even care for. I don't even like like that. But they would only play the best part of that song. And so when I'm li- when I was listening to the radio, waiting for Janet to come on, it came on, and then she started rapping, and I was like, <laughs> "What's that, brother? Brother is <laughs> y'all seen that video? <laughs> like, <laughs> like ah, here's a question: <laughs> Who wants to take this one?" <laughs> Oh, I can't say. <laughs> I cannot. I have no. Clue. I can't say. Hey, Janet, Janet. I know Janice. I know she's happy. This picture is up right now. 
<laughs> we were just talking about the the whole day. Oh, and she posted um a new picture. Did y'all see it? She posted Mm-mm. three no, new I, pictures. I Besides this one? Yes, it's um you mind if I share my screen again? No, of course. Okay. So how do I do this? I act like I haven't been here before. Leave it to us to have a two-hour live on a 15-minute video. Wait, what's this one? I don't like us. <laughs> Wait, it's almost two hours? I haven't seen the Jimmy Fallon thing yet. I don't want any spoilers. Oh. But look at it. Oh, oh I, know, I know what picture you're talking about. I know she likes camouflage, which is now a Jackson Family reference. Oh, my God. I saw the video. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not looking at spoilers. Okay. I still have to watch it. And then this yes. one. I've seen that one. I've seen that one. I've seen that one. That's a nice one. Look how beautiful she looks. That's nice. Oh my gosh. She's, she's so just beautiful. She's hey, I noticed that, that little s- s- triangle clock thing above her. Did she have that, that song? You don't know what you got till it's gone. She has yeah, a metronome. Had, she also had the guitar and the other one. Dun, 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 that one. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I know this. I hear it in my head. She looks beautiful. The banjo. The piano. Wow. Aww. Yes. There's a lot of references here. But yeah, there's Jan. Oh, okay. No, no, he met the biopic for real. Let me tell you about these MJ fans. Y'all already talking about outfits. Where we're gonna party. Mm-hmm. I already gave you all a hint about New York. DJ Spinner will have a Prince versus Michael party. He has it every weekend of Prince's death, which means there's gonna we, we gonna we're gonna reach out to DJ Spinner and be like, can you make it more Michael than Prince? Just saying. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shame. oh. Where's the shame? I, I, I don't have an issue with Prince. Like, you know, I know some of y'all are both. But you can't compare Michael to Prince, and I'm just leaving it there. I'm just, uh, uh, you just can't. I'm not saying it's catalog suck. I'm not saying that either. It's missing soul. I can't explain. Oh, I'm, I feel like I'm going to piss off the Prince. I'm not just the Prince thing. I'm just not the purple girl. No, I don't. Because people be like, well, he play instruments. Who? Michael okay. was an instrument. Let me stop. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, he was. Every time we go to California, we see Ron. Ron's in every event. Everyone. Last time I saw Ron Pia was in Vegas last year. Around mm-hmm. Michael's birthday. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. He's a very nice guy. Um, I haven't been able to think about my outfit because I need to see the movie poster for or the trailer for inspiration. At first, I was going to do a Michael Jackson reference, but I think I want to be like a little bit more obvious. I want people to know when I walk down the street, I'm the, I, you know I'm watching the Michael Jackson biopic. Mm-hmm. And we have to know the theme. Like we we normally go off of outfits by a theme. Like you know, right? This year is off the wall forty five. So hopefully, birthday event the theme is off the wall. Um, and like. You know, the king of popcorns, you could dress up as like. Well, next you know, year, doesn't history turn 30 years old or something? Yes, year, and it does. It's so perfect because the biopic is autobiographical and history is autobiographical. autobiographical. Do it. Well, maybe I'll do something from the history because actually, next year is 3T's anniversary of the Brotherhood brotherhood and the 30th anniversary of history so i feel like maybe our bias should be in that era so just throw that out there for those who are like because i'm like mm-hmm. there's a huge historic connect oh wait i think i know what to wear now wait a minute i just gave you a tip of what you should wear <laughs> let me see i'm done shut up <laughs> It's in the private chat, Rocky. Click on it. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Not with my skinny little legs. No, I'm gonna no come way. out with the helmet from history and be like, check it. <laughs> I should dress as the dance floor from Blood on the Dance Floor. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys rock. I, two hours. First of all, thank everybody for the support because we were we did more lives this week and station heads than normal. 
And now TJ has a session head, so I will definitely be around tomorrow supporting that. And um, TJ has some excellent, excellent, excellent station heads. He puts a lot of thought into it. Great commentary. Like, TJ clearly understands music like his uncle. I don't like to compare him to Michael, but he, he gets the, the music thing. He really does. Mm -hmm. So I will be there tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys can make it. And um, to, wait, how do I... What I'm saying... Wait, who do I need to follow to see this live stream? Oh, like the replay? Oh, the replay? Good question. Today, I love the Jackson family, but um, Tori did a Jack Janet Jackson one this morning. She's the Invincible Jacksons. I said, that's a good question. Be like, Wait, what channel are we on today? I had to think about it. I was like, what channel are we on right now? <laughs> yeah, like, uh... <laughs> But thank you guys so, 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 so much. This has been a really long week, but an awesome week. Special week. Yeah. Uh, make sure you get waiting. your milk. Support TJ. Download the album or buy the album or the DVD or a t-shirt or a pin. <laughs> and if your money's messed up, just stream the music. Like the videos. Watch his YouTube. You know, share his stuff out. All that stuff is for free. Well, your yeah. time's not free, but that's, you know, being supportive. Oh, man, we're really excited. And Y'all y'all were in Toys Live the other night. Two and a half hours talking about this biopic. And we still, we could have kept going, but it was getting late. And yeah. there was still a good chunk of people in there, like, rocking with us still. I was like, yeah. wow. No, it, it comes to show you, like, the tides have officially turned. And all we gotta do now is just support the Jacksons project, so things can so you know, things can keep going. Because it's like you don't want them to do something, and then their bills are not getting paid. You know, just keep streaming, keep TikToking, keep you know doing whatever you can to get the word out. And just we appreciate just the community that we have. Because that's like, like I said, sooner or later I do meet y'all. That's like, oh, I know this, I know this lady. I met her at the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Um, you'll probably, I'm definitely going to, I'm trying to do two or three King of Popcorns out of four. I'm not doing all four, but I'm going to do as many as I can. I'm sure we'll cross paths. I'm positive. Um, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish we could see the trailer. Did y'all see the TikToks of people making jokes that I'm trying to find leaks? I was on the floor. Ooh. I was. Oh, let me see if I can. I ask you on Instagram for oh I'm Invincible Jacksons on Instagram and um I love the Jackson family on Instagram. Just let me know that you're coming from the live so I know to follow back. But, oh I was in you know I was in your live, blah blah blah. You know. Look look at Cheryl all nice and late. I'm weak. Hey Cheryl. <laughs> You know, it's so funny you say that. So I I used to go to a, um, a, a private school and my voice back in the days used to be like, oh my God, how you doing guys? So um, my mom sent me to Harlem to, <laughs> to like kind of change it a little bit. She was like, oh my goodness. I definitely used to suck a valley girl back in the days. I was like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I wish I had video when I was younger. I had a whole different voice. What? Yeah. Oh, so there is a leak? Mm. No, I don't want to see that. No. I see it. I it want... was no, it was like these guys did a um a, a video review of it and they said that it was amazing. They said that when they saw Jafar in character as Michael like dancing and performing. They like forgot that they were just watching an actor. Like, yeah, they said they said that it was extremely close to the real thing. Like, it, I, I was like, oh, I don't want to see the leak. I don't want to see it online. I want to see it in like the theater or something. You know. Too bad that's not a thing. Cause you know sometimes they feature trailers. Well, maybe they might do the trailer in a movie. Yes, I'm from New York. From New York. 
Uh, Over here, we drink orange soda and ham and cheese. Oh my Stop gosh! It. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna clown her. I, I think she's already having a bad year, and I, she's actually a nice celebrity. She was nice when I met her, so we'll leave that alone. <gasps> you met her? Yeah, she's TikTok she, needs you expeditiously. Yeah. They need someone because some they like okay who got a good story. No, because she was everybody. real nice when she met us, like really nice. I was like, oh well, listen, it's it's not saying people are lying, but that's their truth. I had a nice interaction with her, so I'm not gonna trash her. She was actually nice to me. It's like oh she's she was really cool. Oh that's crazy. I'm actually gonna be out there for my nephew's graduation soon. Buffalo's actually really nice. Yes, I felt the earthquake. My stupid behind had no idea it was an earthquake because I'm from New York. So I thought I was collapsing. Then I thought the building was collapsing. Then my friend um texts me and she's like, oh, we had a earthquake in Jersey. I said, I felt it too. And I was so, so scared because I work with, with a lot of high rising buildings around me. And I was just like, we're going to die. It was just so scary. And then the, some of our clients are like, oh, my gosh, it's nothing to me. And I'm like, are, are you from New York? And they're like, no, I'm like, sir or ma'am, an earthquake in New York would be really, really, really bad. We're not made for this. So I really was really irritated that day. I was really irritated with how oblivious the clients were being there were like, this is so cool, New York. And I'm like, not with an earthquake. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was in the north. Wow. Oh wow. My, my mom's from Cali. And the, I always ask my parents, like, well, not my father. He's from New York. But my mom's from Cali. And I'm like, oh, my God. Why did you guys come here? New York sucks. And she's like, I do not miss some earthquakes. And now that we experience an earthquake... I ain't gonna lie, that was not cool at all. <laughs> yeah, not even a little bit. I was terrified. But then again, I get scared of my shadow, so there's that. <laughs> Any last thoughts on this awesome celebration of TJ Jackson? I want him to do more. I want him to do more feature films. That's what. Yes. I do. Yes. Yes. I think one of you were bringing it up, TJ. You need to be acting. And since you have taken the independent route, you and Omar can do an independent film. We <gasps> trust it'll be fine. A musical. Anything. <laughs> Anything. Just be on, on screen, please. Oh, we. Look, look. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was already at work. Nah, nah. Oh, thank you, Janya. Yeah, we're not used to it. And most important, New York is not designed for it. Mm-hmm. Now, where I live and where I work, that's different. If I had one here, it would be a little dangerous. I have mm, I have some high rises around me, but not like New York. New York, it's just the whole sector. It's too much. Right? And TJ T- looks like a Hollywood star for real, like his jawline and everything. Now, that's the one thing. TJ got over my ex. He got a better jawline, but my ex still looked fine. You know who you are. Anyway, but he got a really, I call it a Hollywood jawline. So I was like, TJ legitly looks like an actor. And then, oh my God, he can act. That's really cool. I love it. Oh, heck yeah. Heck hmm. yeah. Ciao. Oh, gosh. I feel like it's going to be a mix of singing, dancing, laughing, commentary, crying. This is going to be, for me, Bad 25 all over again. I was pouring, like, crying during it. Yeah. Dang. Oh, Oh, that's a good observation. Yes. Hmm. Yes. A little bit. Do you want me to pull that up? Yeah. Shamar, yeah, I'm trying to see him without the braids. Let me stop. <laughs> That's actually Cheryl be on point with the references. Yes, a l- yes, and yes, and no. It depends. Hold on, I'll share the screen. Hold on, share the screen. I said he got that look. Y'all see what I'm seeing, right? 
Yeah. I would, oh, say, right there. I would, I would say here, yes. That yes and no. That yeah. Was... Wow. Yo, would that be so funny? He ended up being an actor because it is. He did used to be on one of those Entertainment Tonight kind of shows back in the days. I mean, if they're gonna if they're gonna do an autobiography on on Shimon Moore, you know, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gonna have to be bald. <laughs> don't take all right. The like, don't take the man button away. <laughs> You see Franny like, mm -mm, don't touch that hair. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. We are over our two-hour mark. But we will be back. Um, are you going to do a live on Monday, Tori, for Janet Jackson? Or you don't know? Ooh, this sleep is kicking my tail right now. I I'm, I'm going to... I'll see. I'll try and do maybe another one and then I might I'll see. Y'all would y'all want one? Oh, I, yeah. It's just the Ryan Seacrest one was five minutes. Oh, maybe mix it with um oh. Monday Monday mix with Brian. You know, mix it. I could do um I could just recap everything for like from today, yesterday. All that fun stuff. We have a film we'll see you in a few days. <laughs> in the meantime, Station Head with TJ Jackson tomorrow. What is that? 10, 10, 10 a.m. I think. 10 yeah. Pacific, right? Time. Mm -hmm. And then I am Jen Jackson. Um, escape party. It's 7 p.m., I believe, but don't quote me. Just make sure you just follow. I am Jim Jackson. So we'll be in station here tomorrow. Not me, but just, you know, I'll be in the rooms. Just won't be talking. <laughs> but I love you guys. I really do. It's been a long week, and you guys have been here for the whole entire week. Y'all rock. We're going to bed. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this live or replay. Make sure you sub to this and Tori's channel from Invincible Jacksons. Like this video and share, and we will see you real soon.